Ever wonder why some people succeed and others don't? It's always been a big question for me. A lot of times we don't even realize that we're setting ourselves up for failure and we do everything we can to be able to be successful, or though we think we can, but at the end there's this underlying belief, yes, this belief that has a little word in the middle of it, it's the word lie, that we tell ourselves that makes us not do what we think we can do. Well, how do you know if it's happening to you? If you've ever been in a situation where you wanted something, you say you're gonna do it, and you go, I should do it, I'm gonna try to do it, um, I, I know I can do it, but then you still don't do it. Well, what is that? Well, there's a difference between should, could, why try, then will do it, then I'm gonna make it a must that I do it, that I'm absolutely going to achieve everything I said I'm gonna do, very, very big difference. Well, what is the discerning factor between the two? The discerning factor is your language, is the words you're using. And the most important thing that we don't even realize is that our words are trans inductions to our beliefs. They actually become our reality. So what you set in motion carries in motion. If you say you can, you're right. If you say you can't, you're right. See, it happens to be something where you've been brainwashed to be right or wrong based on the words you're using. I ended up deciding to talk about this topic because we're starting this new program I'm very, very excited about. It's new to some people, but it's not new to me. I've been doing this for years, and it's called the Big Money Blueprint. And the cool thing about the Big Money Blueprint, it's about how to build your business to be able to do something that will just change your life, change the world, and change others, but also to be prosperous in it. And a lot of people, as soon as they hear things about making money, you know, as much as they want to make money, they may find that they sabotage their success because they don't believe they deserve to make money or that they're capable of doing it, all the other things that come with it. Again, it comes to our beliefs, again, the lie that we tell ourselves. And the truth is that you are capable of anything you want and desire as long as you take the action to do it. But why do we not take action? Very simple. We're afraid we're going to fail. The truth is, taking no action means you've already failed. So what's better, taking action or not taking action? Being afraid you're gonna fail or failing by default? You get to choose which you want. I say take imperfect action and then no matter what, it's still better than not doing anything at all because then you didn't fail because just the act of doing something already means you've succeeded, right? So applaud yourself. Yay, I did this. This is awesome. And you do it again. See, what gets rewarded gets repeated. So for me, I like to reward the simplest thing. If I take action, it's yay. Imperfect action, totally okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. But if you're thinking that you cannot do something until it's perfect, then you'll never do what you really want. You'll go to your grave saying shoulda, coulda, woulda, instead of saying I did, I made it a must, not I will, but I did it. And that was really the best part is the success of going after your dreams, doing what you really say you want. And it really starts with our language. It starts with what you're saying to yourself. So like anything else, I am such a proponent of the words we use and what we put in our, in our bodies usually stays in our bodies. So not just the foods we eat, but the words we digest and how we believe them to be true. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna challenge you. The next time you say something that's not resourceful, like I can't do that, I want you to jump and go, who said that? Seriously, I want you to go, who said that? And look at that person that's not there right now and say, my God, who said that? That's not you, that's not you. That's that person that's doubting you, that, that one that says, I don't wanna fail, I'm afraid, I can't do this. Well, let's know that that doesn't have to be you anymore. And if it was you, again, who said that, right? And get to the point where it's so funny and silly that when you do say it, if it does even come back in your vocabulary, which I hope it doesn't, you end up turning cancel, cancel, that's just not me. What is it you really want? What is it you really desire? And what do you need to do to get that? Change your language, speak the truth into what you want, not what you wish could have, would have, should have happened, but actually what you will make happen, what you must make happen, what you will do, commit to it, make it your reality. And I'm going to tell you it all changes. I remember a time when I was afraid of everything, and I mean everything. And people would look at me now and go, you never liked that. I go, yes, I was. I was the person who wasn't pretty enough, skinny enough, rich enough. Didn't matter what I did, I was never enough. 
it got to the point where I brainwashed myself to be my own self-fulfilling prophecy. And then when I lost everything or didn't get what I wanted, it'd be like, see, I told you so. And then all of a sudden it was no longer my fault, but it was totally my fault. I spoke myself into that reality. Well, you can actually speak yourself out of the reality you're in and put yourself in the one you want to be in when you learn to choose your words wisely. So choose wisely. You get to choose. If you want to make it big in this lifetime, then you can do that. I believe in you. If you want to actually go out there and conquer the world and make a difference and take care of yourself in another way, be an example for your family, your children, your friends, your cousins, brothers, sisters, mothers, the whole thing, you can be that person. If you're looking to build an empire and a business to change lives, you can be that person. But the challenge is if you're making it all about you and beating yourself up on what you don't have versus what you do, what you could do versus also what you should do, and you stop doing the things you need to do to progress, you'll stay where you are. So instead of being a self-fulfilling prophecy, I challenge you to be all that you're meant to be. God does not make junk. He put you on this earth for a reason. Go out and fulfill your mission and your purpose by being the best version of you. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Have an awesome day.